All right, I wanted to make a video uh, talking about something regarding, sort of regarding Johnny Candido, uh, why he looks less jacked than what he used to be, and of course uh, he pointed out that he weighs more, so he's not as lean. But I got interesting circumstance. Me, when I was a uh, I guess 17, 18, I weighed like 190. My my body fat percentage was noticeably lower than it is now. Uh, my bicep measurement was 17 inches, my right bicep. My left was 16. I've always had a big difference between right and left. I was leaner. But now, years later, I weigh... 177 ish about that's about why way uh, I'm not as lean even weighing less I'm not as lean uh, my right bicep is 15 inches two inches smaller my left bicep is 14 and a half inches my forearms are each an inch smaller in circumference um, my calves my left calf used to be 17 and a half inches at that body weight now 16 inches so and the reason why i say left calf is due to scoliosis i have a i have a lean so my left calf is bigger than my right calf just like my left obliques is more developed than my right obliques uh, just certain muscular imbalances that are nearly impossible to do anything about because they're created from me walking, just walking, just how I stand. Uh, I mean, really, the only way I can think of at the top of my head to combat that is maybe wearing a, a lift on my, on my shoe. But yeah, the curve of my spine causes my left obliques to be more developed. That's why suitcase lifts, even though I'm, I'm right, I'm, I'm right-handed, right-legged, my left leg's stronger than my right leg, my left obliques are stronger. So, uh, that's, that's the case. Uh, the left side has more muscle, but then when it comes to upper body, my right side is considerably stronger than my left. But anyways, I'm, I'm not as lean as I was. I'm more chubby, and I weigh less, and I'm stronger. I'm not much stronger. I've had some big bumps in the road since then. Uh, I've been hospitalized, badly injured, all sorts of things. <clears throat> and I'm stronger, though, in every single way. Uh, deadlift, sumo, if you pick an exercise, I'm stronger at that exercise than I was. So, what, what's, the, what's the cause? Well, back then, when I was training, my goal was to get stronger and get bigger. That, that was the goal. So I was eating thousands and th I was eating every night till I made myself sick. So I mean, I would try to get 5,000 calories from plain chicken breast. And if you look at how many calories is in chicken breast, it, you'll see what I'm talking about. I wasn't, I wasn't figuring out easy cheat ways to get calories like drinking soda. It wasn't that. I was having a clean bulk constant. So I always had tummy issues. I w with all the eating. Nowadays, I, I eat probably about half as much as I used to. Um, and the way I train. Back then, I did some cardio. Some. But it's very little. All I did is I lifted weights probably like 10 times a week. Because uh, in PE, I was never in athletics or football, anything like that. I was in PE, we would go to the weight room. And uh, it was twice a week we would go to the weight room, two or three times. Depending on the year and depending on who is my PE teacher. So, and then I would work out at home 
uh, set every single day. Every single day I worked out, so that's seven times. Unless I was sick or hurt or something. All in all, I, I worked out uh, nine or ten times a week for the most part. <clears throat> My frequency was higher. Um, but yeah, the way I train. Nowadays, I do a little bit of everything. I don't record everything. A lot of it's boring. But pretty much all the endurance stuff I do, I, never, I don't record any of it because it's so long. I don't have a GoPro or anything like that. But every workout I do, every workout, I do some form of half an hour endurance. Like when I do an arm workout, I'll carry uh, a slam ball or a 100-pound sandbag in front of me as an isometric arm workout. That's a big part of how I healed my torn bicep. But uh, uh, another thing I'll do, I'll swing a sledgehammer for 30 minutes. Uh, every 10 minutes, I'll go take a get a drink, take a, I'll drink a or gulp down a glass of water. But yeah, I'll swing a sledgehammer for 30 minutes. Leg days, I'll bicycle or I'll go do sprints on the track where I sprint 100 meters, walk 100 meters. Sprint 100 meters, walk 100 meters. I'll do that for 30 minutes. But every workout I do, I do some sort of endurance. I also do speed where I use bands. I'll just work on speed and power, plyometrics, jumping. So I do a lot more. And... I think, I don't think everyone's body is like this, but mine, for as strong as I am, I'm stronger than I was, but I have 25 pounds, 20 pounds less muscle mass than I did. Because I weigh 15 pounds less, but I, I'm also not as lean either. So I have like 20 pounds, I've lost 20 pounds of muscle over the years. So I kind of have this weird build. My, my body is built for a jack of all trades. It's built to run, walk, endurance, power, because that's how I train. I don't just do strength or power lifting like I used to. Uh, if I did, I'd probably be considerably stronger, but uh, other things would, would suffer. I, I kind of look at my body like a, a Fallout 4 profile, or a Fallout profile attributes. It's kind of how I've always looked at. Do I have to, in order for me to get stronger, do I have to sacrifice my endurance? If I do, then I won't. Uh, I, I did for a point, and that's when I got my body weight up to 230, and my mile time was nine and a half minutes, and I was like, yeah, this has got to change. It wasn't worth it. Now... I'm stronger than I was then, and I weigh like 177, so it, I feel like if you do a little bit of everything, speed, plyometrics, isometrics, just incorporate a little, that, that's what I do, a little bit of everything, and because the, this is a marathon, not, not a sprint, I guess, with training. And you improve all those little things at a gradual level, I don't feel like you'll get hurt. I sure haven't. Since, since I've been training this way, I've gotten to know my body a bit better. When I avoid barbell exercises, like barbell bench press, anything, because I, I have severe scoliosis. When I do those lifts, it, it, there's always an imbalance. So I'm learning my body. I'm not doing what other people do. I don't care. Uh... Uh, I do a lot of single-limbed movements, and yes, I'm always going to have imbalances, but like you, you, you do with the best you can. Just because everybody does squats and bench press doesn't mean you have to. That's why I, I like single-arm, one-arm floor presses and stuff like that, because that, that does carry over. When my one-arm floor press goes up, I don't even have to bench press. When I go bench press, it's gone up automatically, so... But yeah, I feel, the main point of this video, why do I have less muscle but I'm stronger? Well, I feel like my muscle has adapted. It's kind of like if you train for powerlifting, you won't necessarily build muscle, unlike bodybuilding. 
I feel like my body has gotten to the point where it's like I don't need all this extra muscle in order to do this thing because I'm not lifting as heavy as frequently. I mean, now I have maybe three or four heavy lifting days as opposed to nine or ten. And I do a lot of endurance, so... I mean, if you look at some of the CrossFit guys, uh, most of them, they're not real big, but they're kind of strong. Their endurance is phenomenal. They got decent power, plyometric ability. Uh, that's kind of why I like I'm I'm interested in having a very functional, capable body. Well, kind of like for the apocalypse, I guess you could say. That's why I do my own thing involving these mile carries where I'll pick up an object and carry it for a mile or two miles without setting it down once and 